Well, we are well underway with our rough plumbing, waste and water. And on the water, we're going to do something a little bit different on this project. Historically, whenever we run water, it has always been a trunk and branch system. Main water supply here, big pipe, and as each T comes to a branch, it can get smaller and smaller as you go into the building. But there was a trend when PEX first came out to do a home run system. There would be manifolds like this with separate supplies for cold and hot and run a home run for each fixture or fixture group through the building. This would be mounted down in the basement much like an electrician's circuit panel. Plenty of advantages. There was some disadvantage. There was a fair amount of pipe running to each one. And on the hot water side, you had to empty out a really long pipe uh, to get instantaneous hot water upstairs. So what we're going to do is actually an interesting hybrid of these two systems. Cordian Rack is our plumber on this job. Glad to have you aboard. You're, Thank you. you're a good one. So we're not going to have a central manifold. We're not. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using this three-quarter pipe and we're going to be using these multi-port T's and what we have is depending on if you have three, two or four, you have the main supply coming in connecting to this multi-port T and it has a short run going to each fixture. Now that's different than the way we historically have done it, whether it be copper or with PEX. Whether or not it was a home run system or trunk and branch, it was always you come up and then there was elbows and T's and if you start adding them up at every bathroom, there was what, 15 or 20 fittings. In right. this case, we're going to have far fewer fittings, right? Correct. Okay. We're going to have far fewer fittings, a lot less points of leakage and shorter runs from the hot line so it's quicker hot water. Right, and you can continue on with the supply from one bathroom onto the next one, right? Right through those multiple. Correct. Ones. With one of these flow through T's here, you can start from this end, feed a bathroom group and continue to another one. So Rich, this is what it looks like installed. Instead of having 20 pipes coming in, we've only got these two lines coming in here and feeding all of these bathrooms. Three bathrooms, one here and two upstairs. Correct. Now, as you can see, there's all these bend supports installed here. There's no fittings. It comes all the way to here where we have these multi-port tees. Okay, so come to here. There's the tees right here. So hot and cold right there. And I've only got about seven to eight connections here. Yep. And then if, the, if you follow this line further, it continues down to the next bathroom group. I've only got about seven to eight connections also there instead of your typical 30 to 40 connections. Right, so you've got half the connections, you've got better water supply, and you've got the ability to add that recirc line so everybody gets instantaneous hot water. That's pretty good. You're a genius. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.